train that you hear in the back. We live close to a train track. So we're gonna start off with a small hive. Hopefully we can find some queens. We're turning back and laying eggs. So you can see we do have some bees in here. They still got, there's still a small hive, a small colony. Um, not many bees, they still have a bunch of frames. There's only four frames total, and only three of them have comb on it. But let's see if we can spot the queen, if she's returned, if she's laying, see what she's doing. So, this is all honey and nectar, some pollen. They are still bringing in pollen as well, so I see them on their legs. I'm gonna try to spot the queen if I could find her. Uh, they still got a lot of building to do on this hive. So. My main thing is I don't have to see the queen, but if I see eggs, I know she's come back, made it. And if I don't see anything, I'll introduce another frame with eggs from another hive. Like I said, excuse the train, I'm sorry we look close by. This side's gonna be all nectar. Yeah, I don't, on these two frames so far, I do not see any eggs. I see pollen, I see a lot of nectar. But we do have our queen, she's right here. So hopefully she's returned back and hopefully she's uh, mated. See if I can see you on my phone. I'm recording on my phone. <laughs> Let me find her again. Where did she go? She's a dark queen. There she is right here. So you can see her right there. I'm trying to make sure you see she's walking around right here in the middle. Pretty neat. She's coming to this side of the frame. So hopefully she's made it. I just don't think I have any room for her to lay any eggs that I can see. So I may add a, a frame of comb already so they could have, so they won't just be honey bound. Because I do want to make sure she has the room to, to lay. Oh God, that was not good. Like I said, I am new to this. I'm only two and a half months into beekeeping. And it's been a wild ride. I've really enjoyed it. If she has, you know, returned back from her flight, I do not see any eggs. Granted, I can't see the best on these yellow frames on a cloudy day. So I'm gonna give her some more time. Hopefully she'll start laying soon. But uh, if I find another frame, I will definitely add it over here. Granted, it will have some eggs. And, uh, I'll try to find one with a lot of brood to bring in here to help boost up the numbers. And of course, once those brood hatch, she'll have some room to lay. So I'm gonna scoot these closer together. So that's my goal is to get another frame from another hive with a lot of brood, bring it in here, make this hive a little healthier with the boost and give her some room to lay because they are, they need to draw more on these frames. And also what they do have is mainly nectar and honey. So this one's looking good. We saw the queen. We'll come back at another frame to her. Now look at this one. All right. So we've got two full frames of bees, three frames of bees. Hopefully we'll find the queen. They're very quiet, so that's a good sign. I would have waited another day to get this done, but I go back to work tonight for a week. And I like to check once a week and 
probably the best time I could do it. So they are starting to draw comb out here on those, these frames, which is good. On both sides, actually, looking good. Trying to see if any of the deeper ones could show any eggs. Hopefully we'll find the queen in this one. Now that third hive, my really mean hive, I'm gonna save that for the end. I'm gonna inspect all my other hives and then I'll mess with my mean hive because I do not feel like messing with that and then putting up with them all day long. Oh yeah, got some good numbers on this frame. There's the queen, gosh, she is gorgeous. I'm gonna show you her. This is a gorgeous dark one right here at the end of this frame walking around she's right there she is pretty so i have found both queens in both these hives which is awesome now my next thing is to try to find some eggs see if she's laying yet and i do see I see eggs, she's laying. So she has come back, mated, and laying. She probably just got back a couple days ago and still trying to get the hang of everything. But I do see eggs on the other side. You can see all these nurse bees here. I want to make sure I know where she's at again before I put her back in the box. She's right here in the middle. Gonna add this here. So that's a great sign to actually see eggs from a, a split you made. You know, I, like I said, I made a split. I made a split. I had accidentally moved the queen over to my little nuke that I made the split on. So my big hive made about 20 different queen cells. I took some queen cells, put them in a smoker and they hatched, sold those, and the rest I made three splits off of, and I did verify the queens were hatched, and they each had a queen, then they came back, I found both queens in these two, this one's laying, oh yeah, she's laying. She's laying real good. This pattern, I see eggs everywhere. That is awesome. So here in about a month, this little colony of bees should be having a lot better numbers once these new these newborns hatch. So that is an exciting feeling to actually do that on our own. Get the swarm cells, the queen cells from my hive that I messed up on give them time be patient let her go on her mating flight return back successfully and she's laying so like i said i did find both queens this one i do need to add a frame of uh of some a whole bunch of brood to help boost them up and some space for her to lay because those little frames that she does have are honey bound and they're not really building uh, comb right now for some reason, so I need to try to give them something to help them out some. Um, that's gonna be all for this video. I was just checking on these two. Like I said, that big hive, that mean hive that I have, that colony, I'm not gonna do it on video because I'm gonna do that at the end. So that's all for this video. We found some queens and they're laying.